and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, I want to talk about an interesting problem that has come across my news feed, and that is understanding the probability against an event. So what I mean by, hey, against an event, uh, I'm essentially talking about what is the probability of not winning. And it turns out that these things are, are very common when you're looking at, say, the odds for betting. So let's go ahead and start to look at this a little bit more in depth. If you were, say, looking at horse racing, they like to give you the odds against an event W, and they're usually given as a ratio like this, like A to B. And really what they're talking about is that A represents, say, the losses, and B are wins. Okay? And the neat part is when they give you odds like this, you can actually compute the uh, probability of not winning. This is actually given by a nice little formula. So here's the probability for not winning equals our losses over our losses plus our wins. Now the reason why this probability works out has a little bit to do with the uh, variables that we're using here. So our losses are up on top and on the bottom since we're adding the losses to the wins this is our total. So let's grab a quick example to see how this works. So I'm down at the horse track and I'm looking at, say, different horses, and I notice that one has odds of like five to three, okay? So what that means is that I will lose uh, five times and say win three times. So if I wanted to compute the probability of the horse not winning, I would go five out of the total, five plus three, or 5 over 8 and that would be the probability of not winning. So where exactly does this formula come from? Why does it work? Well you can actually build it directly. Let me show you how that's done. So suppose we wanted to show uh, why the probability of not winning really was a all over a plus b. What we could do is we could start with this equation right here. So assume that a over b has the uh, probability of not winning all over one minus the probability of not winning. Okay, so really what's going on here? I, I'm like looking at my wins, I mean uh, my losses, so the probability of not winning, over my wins, which is exactly the opposite, one minus uh, the value of, say, uh, the probability of not winning. So we wanna end up solving this for the probability of not winning. And the way I'll do this is first we wanna multiply both sides by this little bottom piece here, okay? So a divided by b will be multiplied by 1 minus probability of not winning equals probability of not winning. So I'm trying to solve this, trying to get them together. And this guy is stuck inside parentheses. I can free it by actually distributing through by this a, b. So I get a, b minus a, b multiplied by probability of not winning equals probability not winning. Okay, so that's a little bit closer. We want to get these guys together, and we can definitely do that. So I've written down this step, and now let's take this piece and simply add it to the other side. So I'll still have an AB from this, then we'll take uh, this and add it to the other side. Uh, so let's see, what does that give us? Plus a b. There we go. And now notice how this piece is common to both of our terms. And since it's common, we can go ahead and factor it out from both. So a b equals grabbing a piece from both of them. 1 plus a over b. So carefully, carefully look at that step. Notice how we're really just taking this piece that was common to both and pulling it out front. All right, now that we have this little single term here, we can divide both sides by one plus AB. So we have AB all divided by one plus AB equals our probability of not winning. Okay, so we're almost done. It almost looks like the formula 
Just one little last step to do. To go ahead and clear out a lot of these uh, complex fractions, we can multiply the top and the bottom by a common denominator. So imagine doing the top and bottom by b. Also note that you have to distribute on the bottom since there's two terms there. All right, so on the top, ab times b would equal just an a. On the bottom, after we distribute this b into both pieces, we'll get a b plus a. All right, and if we just rearrange things a little bit, this is exactly the formula that we were looking for. So again, the probability of not winning is really just looking at your losses divided by your total. All right. Well, if you would want to see some more questions, definitely send some into my newsfeed. And in the meantime, check out some of my other videos on mysecretmathtutor.com.